Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna be a maintenance day for the Ducati. But before we do some maintenance, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to load up a motorcycle on any truck. All right, if you're doing it in the truck bed, this is gonna be the absolute easiest way to do it. All right, so stay tuned for that. The first thing that you wanna do is decrease the amount of angle that you have going for the truck with your ramps. So a lot of times what people do when they mess up, they get ramps that are too short and the ramps end up being too steep because of the angle to the truck and they end up either bottoming out their bike or they just tip over because they don't know what they're doing. Oh. <laughs> so save yourself the hassle by getting longer ramps. That's what these are over here. This angle, if I really wanted to, because the ramps are 10 feet long, I could go ahead and do it like this, but make your life easier and try to get your truck as flat as you can. So what I'm gonna do now is just pull down the driveway a little bit, just to even this angle out slightly. Step one is you want to give yourself as flat of a plane as possible so you can see the angle now is a lot softer than what it would have been if you would have had the truck backed up here. Second thing, these are two 10 foot ramps. They fold in half to be five foot each. They're about maybe six inches wide, but 10 feet long per, I want to say they're about $250 each. So this isn't about having the cheapest solution. This is about having the best solution, okay? So keep that in mind, these are, let's see where's the logo. I think they're called Titan, the Titan ramps. 1500 pound load capacity, that's on each one. So you got about 3000 pounds that you could put on here if you wanted to do like a dirt bike or something, or not a dirt bike, a four wheeler or something like that. Yep, they're called Titan ramps. So these, just get two of them. What I like to do is kind of offset it. I'll do one in the center of the truck the other one on the left side of the truck so as I'm walking the bike up feathering the clutch when it's on it just makes that whole process a lot easier for me second thing you need this is probably most important this is your black widow wheel shock system now the dope thing about this compared to other wheel shock truck bed systems is you don't have to screw this into your truck at all like this right now I can pull it out that's it it sounds like that's not very secure, but trust me, you will not have to worry about anything going wrong. All you wanna do is get it snug in here and then make sure it's supported by pieces that aren't gonna move. So I got it pushed all the way up in the back here and actually I gotta pull it out just a little bit so I need to lift this up. But make sure it's pushed all the way back to the back of the truck bed. You make sure it's all the way touching on both of those corners and that's all you got to do there's no way that this is ever going to tip over you know what i'm saying like there's you could hit whatever bumps you want to it's not going to roll or flip or nothing like that so it doesn't necessarily need to be drilled in and then once you actually have your straps and tie downs hooked up to the bike it's basically not going anywhere so let's go ahead and get it loaded up oh the adjustments of this too just so you guys know man look at this it's so easy so right now i got it set up for a grom Check this out. So we know Grom tire is tiny. This fits it perfectly. So what I want to do is move this back probably to the halfway point and then move this one up to the halfway point as well. So I'm just going to do this. Look how long it takes. Pull one clip, pull this bar out, lift it up a little bit. Boom. That's fine. Oh, hold up. There you go. So that top part is adjusted now. Do the same thing down here. Pull that out. Pull the rod out. Move it up to where you think you need it. Drop that back in. Put the clip in. Boom. Just that fast.
Okay, the only thing I dislike about this, I think was a poor design, is they definitely advertise it as having multiple. So I think they should have thought about this. So I know this is done for structural rigidity and all that stuff, strength, but I would love to have seen a flat side so you can put it flush side by side. So as of right now, you do gotta deal with that gap. Next thing you wanna do is strap it down. So the ramps themselves do not move. Oh, this is the real beauty right here, see? This is the real beauty. Canyon Dancers. I don't know what version this is, but I know they've made some modifications to it. But um, Canyon Dancers are the best thing for transporting motorcycles, hands down. They have different ones for cruisers, different ones for dirt bikes, different ones for motorcycles, sport bikes, whatever. And um, so you can get it kind of specific, but I've had these ones for like the last four years. And I've never, I've never had to change them. And I've had all sorts of bikes, cruisers, fast bikes, slow bikes, Groms, pretty much anything this has been suitable for. Only on like the really wide handlebar cruisers did it give me some, like it did it barely fit on there, but even still I was able to get the bike home. So just something to keep in mind. Get you a pair of camera dancers. Take our ratchet straps. Shout out to all the ratchets. We see y'all, we appreciate y'all. Thank you for your services. Let me hook this up. Boom. This is one of those steps that I know I could skip if I wanted to, but it's, you know, it's a $25,000 bike. I'd rather just spend the extra minute and a half to make sure it's not gonna have an issue. Deal, put it on the same spot. Now that you got that done, you just wanna make sure everything looks good. So these are good, secured. Well, let me get this one. There we go. This one's good, not going nowhere. Now let's grab the Ducati. Okay. Now that we got the bike turned around, I'm gonna do kind of a final check here just to make sure everything is good. Make sure all your pins are locked in. Good, 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 good. Locked in, locked in. Make sure these are tightened down. Good. Put your candy dancers out the way. You got this, the wheel chalk flipped towards you. So the bike can easily roll up there. Let me tell you how easy this is, guys. One person. If I wasn't filming, this would take me like 10 minutes, not even. Again, we're throwing the bike in neutral to turn it on. Put in first gear and just feather the clutch and you walk up next to it. drama no bullshit and that's why I said this isn't the cheapest way to get your bike there safely and look I didn't even put the straps down on it or nothing the bikes gonna sit here perfectly fine I can you know you don't want to go crazy with it but you can give it a little push hit a little bump if you need and there you go yeah so like I was thinking if I would have put it on that third one the wheel would probably sit down so I actually think I'm gonna roll this back and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna roll this back, move that whole thing back one step. Uh, you know, we could probably even get away with two. No, we'll do just the, just the one. And then um, we should be good. It's just me being kind of over cautious. I know this is totally fine. I've done this before, but I'd rather just be over cautious on it. So we'll move that back one step. There you go. 
just that easy. So as you can see, the bike's able to sit, the front tire's able to sit a little bit lower, got a little bit more support on the back side of the wheel, just to help if you hit a bump or something, it's not gonna bounce out or go anywhere. So this is where I just strap mine on. And these are the, uh, the Rhino straps. Just a good, durable, <laughs> almost too durable, look at this. No, just a really good solution as far as stuff like this goes. I just strap it underneath my truck, on the tow, accessory, post thing, whatever it's called. This is where the Canyon Dancers come into play. Take these, put these cups around the handlebars. Just like that. The other one goes over like that. You pull these straps down at the bottom, like that. And so you want to hook ratchet straps, you're gonna hook that up to this. So now, you're not putting any pressure up here on the, the steering or the uh, suspension components directly. It's just all on the bars. Shout out to Chevrolet, man. Gotta straighten this. They got the tie down points built into the truck. Come on, Chevy. Chevy's that, that gang, man. Pull as much of the slack as you can, a couple ratchets. And so I like to do that until I see the bike start to lean this direction, so I know that this one's almost top. Same thing on this side. You take the Canyon Dancer, just gonna hook that strap up. Pull the slack, why don't you? Feeling very Minnesotan today. Jump back over here. This side down, a couple goes. This side down as well. Now, I typically don't like to go too far in your suspension travel. You don't want to bottom it out, but I do want to make sure that it's nice and secure on there. I want to make sure there's a good amount of pressure holding this bike in. This is the other dope part. So as far as the ramps go, because they're not a full or only a 10 foot ramp, to put them in, all you do is fold them up, throw them in the back of the truck. If you're doing this with one person, this is the easiest way that I've found to do it. You basically just take the ramp, just tilt it upward, and instead of trying to close the whole thing, you just come down to the, the halfway point, and you hold one side of the foldable spot, and you just fold the other side. Because even though they're aluminum, they're still kind of heavy. I, I want to say they probably weigh, I don't know, maybe like 60 pounds, I don't know. Um, but they got some weight to them. It's just like awkward weight too. So just makes it easier when you can just fold half of it versus trying to hold the whole thing. So a little pro tip there for you. There we go. We're ready to go. Shut her down. Let's hit the road. Just kidding. You do want to tie these down. So what I do is come over the top. Catch this tie down point in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I can't really get a good angle. So just like that. So now, I don't have to worry about these ramps. If I hit a bump or something, it's not going to bounce up and hit the Ducati, or it's not going to slide out of my truck, which is good too. I appreciate that. And just do a little one handed bandit tie right there you don't need them to be super tight you just need it to not be kind of flying around there let me set this down for you guys if this was a grom i would do a one-handed bandit all day but because it's the ducati we're gonna play it safe and that's it guys the easiest way to load up a motorcycle into a truck yeah.